Okay, welcome back to Elusive Eats. Uh, I wasn't going to do another one of these until I could find some stuff that's really hard to find or really obscure. But given that it's Christmas time, and there's a lot of stuff coming out now, or that's out now, that is really hard to find, or it's limited, you know, limited edition. And actually, the main reason I did this is I found something that was really odd, that I didn't know how long it was going to be. So for the few watchers that I do have, which, by the way, thank you very much for uh, subscribing to me, um, I wanted to show this to you and give you sort of a heads up. If you can find this, uh, you know, try to, well, I mean, I don't know what it's like yet. Everything I'm going to be eating right now, I have not tried. So uh, we're going to find out together what this stuff is. Now, this has actually been opened. Uh, one of my co-workers was eating this. Uh, and they're actually these Utz uh, mini pretzels, and they're covered with Butterfinger candy pieces. Which, you know, I've seen, you know, yogurt, I've seen chocolate, I've never actually seen Butterfinger. And, uh, and they smell good. But, uh, I haven't actually had these yet, as I said. Hmm. I do like Butterfinger, you know, in small doses, but my friend didn't like them. Expect These don't have chocolate on them, by the way, which, you know, is there's always the covering of chocolate on the Butterfingers, but they're just the Butterfinger pieces, so let's give this a shot. Mmm. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's like if they were covered with peanut butter, it's the same sort of taste and consistency, but uh, a little different. I mean, hmm. they're good, I guess. I mean, I'll definitely finish that off, but I mean, it didn't, it didn't knock my socks off. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're okay. I'd, I'd, I would get those, if nothing else, to get the experience. But, I mean, if you've had pretzels, you've had, you know, either pretzels covered with candy or, you know, just had Butterfingers, you pretty much get the idea. Now, the, the, that was the, the only reason I got that one is because that one I don't know how long it's going to be out. This other stuff that uh, I'm seeing here... Uh, <clears throat> I know this comes in pretty much every year, and we always get it at the stores that I shop at. But you can only find it one time a year, so this is the reason why these are on the Exclusive Eats show. Uh, let me just start off with, with uh, I've got some uh, eggnog nips, which I don't remember seeing this last year. Now, I'm not, I'm not somebody who drinks eggnog, so I'm not even sure what this is going to taste like. Again, my friend said, you know, I actually had her try one of these, and she said it tastes just like eggnog, and like a brand name eggnog. So if you like eggnog, this should be good, but um, this is going to be a complete surprise to me, because it's probably been years since I've even tasted eggnog. Alright, bottoms up. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just because I don't have a lot of experience with this. It's kind of... It almost tastes a little bit like butterscotch. To me. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, no, this, this one I do know how I feel about. Now, I, again, this is, this is not for me, but if you like eggnog, this is probably, some, I'm going to wash this down real quick with one of these. See, these are pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Give me a second. Cleanse your old palate here. Ah. 
Mm. Okay, now, this next box that I've got here is actually from Haviland. And these guys do some pretty fancy chocolates. These guys are really good in general. Haviland Peppermint Bark Malted Milk Balls. I've been eyeballing these anyway. And, uh... Because I, I do like peppermint bark. And I love, you know, malted milk balls. Um, ooh, got a big old whiff of these. These definitely smell good. Yeah, about the size of regular malted milk balls. Let me put these away first. I gotta make sure I can grab my socks if these get knocked off. <laughs> All right. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh! Mmm! Oh, now these are really good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like malted milk balls. Yeah, malted milk balls. But definitely covered with candy cane. These are really good. Um, I'm going to I'm going to have to hold myself back on these, or I'll just finish the whole pack drop now. Um, yeah, have have a land, uh, peppermint bark malted milk balls. If you can find this this one, I I definitely recommend. Um, very very good. Okay, and. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go. Now this one is also one I'd been uh, taking a look at. It's it's Ghirardelli, and those of you who do like chocolate or any kind of candy sort of confectionaries, Ghirardelli does good work. They're like really fancy. They're higher end chocolates, uh, not a doubt. Now this one here has eggnog. Peppermint bark and pumpkin spice caramel, which, as you already know, if you've watched my last episode, I love pumpkin. So I'm hoping that this will be good as well. <clears throat> Break the seal on this one. Oh, why is this so difficult? Seriously, out of all of them, this one is the hardest to open. There we go rubber cement or something. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> and the best part about these is not only do they have uh, you know, three different flavors in here, but they're also individually wrapped. Find all three of them. Kind of mixed in here. There we go. Lazy man solution. Eggnog. I'm not looking forward to that one. Uh, get that way. All right, so I already know I'm going to like peppermint, but since I've got the this this is one that I have had the peppermint peppermint squares. Not only have the peppermint bark on the front here, but they also have like a layer of chocolate on the back. And I did have one of these um, individually, and I know these are good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. This one definitely has a nice little kick to it. It's uh, very smooth chocolate. Ghirardelli does great chocolate. And the peppermint, the two of them mix together really well. Oops, darn it. Um, I'm going to save the eggnog for last. Got this pumpkin spice. Uh, <clears throat> pumpkin spice caramel, actually. And this could go either way. I don't know how pumpkin and caramel are going to meld together. But we are going to... We're going to find out. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And I can definitely taste the, the pumpkin spice. Hmm. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. Hmm. I can't so much taste the caramel, but the uh, the pumpkin spice is very mild, not overpowering, and really tasty. This one's pretty. This one's pretty good. Um, and uh, one last one here. We'll get the eggnog and cross our fingers because I really am not looking forward to this one at all at this point. I'm not even going to finish that nip. Here we go. <clears throat> Ugh. It's got a little flex and stuff inside of it. Um. All right. Bottoms up. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh no, there it is. Mmm. Oh. 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 Oh no, no, na uh, nasty. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no, no. No, that eggnog is not for me. Um mm. Oh, maybe that's just because I didn't, you know, have eggnog every year since I was a kid or whatever. Uh, but no, 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 not my flavor. Um, again, I have nothing to compare it to. So if you like eggnog, this might be right up your alley. But I, I don't have enough. I mean, this is just my opinion on this. I really, I've got, I've got nothing to say on that one. There, I, I don't know what the real stuff's supposed to taste like. So it could be spot on. I wouldn't know. But <laughs> I do not want to know. But all in all, all in all, like I said, if you like eggnog, the Ghirardelli, also really good. Check that out. And so those are the two I would recommend. Like out of them, the Uts, the Uts is pretty good actually. If you can find the, excuse me, if you can find the, uh, the mini pretzels with the Butterfinger, give those a shot. They're pretty good. I'm definitely going to finish that off. The Haviland Peppermint Bark Malted Milk Balls, very tasty, and highly recommended. The Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli always does good stuff, they really do. Um, I mean, it, you're going to pay a little bit more, but they, they really are worth the price, because they don't, there's, there's certain candies that are just ridiculous, you know, tag on it, and it's just, it's just not good, it's not good candy. But these guys, <clears throat> limited time only. Check them out. You should be able to find them in most grocery stores. I mean, I got these at a pharmacy. So pretty much any place that's going to sell Christmas stuff, it's going to be a good bet. You're going to find at least some of these items. So give them a try if you can. Like I said, if you like eggnog, maybe go for the nips. I don't know about that, but uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we have a happy holidays, and we'll, we'll see you next time.